<laughs> Hello. Uh, greetings from Blizzard here in Turku. We have a great blizzard right now, and I heard that it's gonna go really, it's gonna go really cold and and more blizzard. So I'm actually happy. I was in Canary Islands a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, and and it was really sunny. So I'm all charged up for the winter, and I'm really happy because in Turku we haven't had a really great winter at all or winters at all. So when we get snow, it's actually pretty cool. So, um, yeah, but I was thinking about talking today about moods, um, how with aromatherapy you can enhance your moods. And actually, it's very important to do that because it really affects on your health, your, the kind of moods that you have. It really affects your health and it's really important for the whole, like, how you experience life. So if you're in a good mood, it actually helps and it, and it reduces your stress and it's it's really cool. I have, I heard I have heard now from a few people that they've been trying the diffuser and they really like it because they feel like it it's kind of they don't even notice it anymore, but when they don't use it, they notice that it's something is kind of missing, that something is different in their mood. So so if you haven't tried a diffuser just remember to try it, it's really cool. But even if you don't have a diffuser, you can still use the oils to help your moods. You can always, what I always do is, if I use an oil for myself, let's say lavender, I, I have it in my palm with the, with the carrier oil and a couple drops of lavender. I always inhale it like from my hands like a few times and then I just put it on my skin. So you can, you can still use it aromatherapy you can still use it with you know you can just smell it even if you don't have a diffuser so you can still do that um it's really sense also it's been studied a lot they really affect affect on because you can have like positive memory memories of some smell smells and it really it can like uplift your life a little bit so, but I, I wanted to give you some tips. I wrote an, a blog two days ago and I have all of this information in my blog. So if, if I go through these oils pretty quickly, so if you want to go, go back to the blog and see what I'm actually talking about and what was the oil for or different things, and you can just go back and see. I, I will link it, link it somewhere here. So, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I think stress is something that most of us deal with uh, either we are going through something that is very stressful or it's just that we have we feel like we have too much things to do and too little time so that is something that you can you can try and use oils for definitely and one is frankincense frankincense is, is really nice smell and you can just put two drops and dilute it let's say back of your ears or to your temples or your wrists it's really nice smell and it, it really, I feel like, up, up, uplifts your mood. Also, Roman chamomile is something, if, you, if you're using the doTERRA one, you can use also internally. You can put a drop to your tea um, and you can also use it on topically on your skin, the same way as frankincense. And also good oils if you have them are like very rare and lavender for stress. Um, if you're having like anger things, uh, I sometimes I feel like I get a little bit like this rage, not often because I meditate a lot, but sometimes I really do. So good oils for, for like this anger and hurt are um, patchouli and also lang lang. Um, it is spell, spelled with a Y, so it's like lang lang with, with Y. And you can use lang lang, it's very good, let's say in... in foot baths or, or baths in generally and um and also patchouli you can you can dilute it and put it on your temples or wrists and it's really great uh, if you're ha feeling like nervous or you're having like restless feelings and things like that my new favorite because yesterday i i, I knew that i was going to be in a situation like that that i was going to be a little bit nervous uh, I tried this oil blend, Balance, and it's also really nice smell. And and I I get just put it in my diffuser, and then, but then I also use it for my toddler. My toddler is going through like 
uh, like some stuff now. <laughs> he's he's pretty angry sometimes. You know when he needs to go to bed or he needs to put his clothes on and things like that. So we've been, we've been using some balance balance for his mood also and and um, it's it's really nice. I do I have to say I, I do like it. Lavender is also good for for that and also rosemary. Um, if you're dealing with some sadness, you're feeling really sad. Um, sandalwood is, is, is said to be very good for that. Sandalwood is really also nice smell. And also there's an oil, oil blend called Elevation. Um, and then I also wanted to mention now at the end, um, there is, um, I wrote yesterday to my blog this recipe uh, for people who have difficulties to focus. I'm having, I have had this, this problem all my life, but um, not, not the worst kind, not the worst kind, but I definitely have problems focusing when I study or, or do things like that. I, it's, it is difficult for me. It's also difficult sometimes to focus when people talk. And, and so, so, and you can maybe see that also from my blogs, blogs sometimes. So, um, uh, th by the way, that sound is not my, my son. That's, that's my Burmese. Um, uh, my oldest girl, like you can probably see now, difficult to focus. So anyway, uh, there's a recipe if you are dealing with that. And, um, if you have kids who are dealing with that, there's this, this recipe that it's, it, it's pretty great. I, I've heard some people that they use it and I have not used it myself, I have to say, but I, I have heard good things about it and I will definitely be trying that, definitely be trying that out. So you can go ahead and to the blog and and see that one yeah but if you're dealing with this the blizzard then then be safe and try to enjoy it because it's not so often let's uh, at least in turku or uh, in many places that we get a lot of snow so yeah but looking forward to the spring a little bit i have to admit <laughs>